What's up guys, Joey here for Ugotech, and since Android is an open source mobile operating system, it can cater to millions of possible customizations, and almost every single smartphone manufacturer out there has developed their own skin on top of Android. Some of them really nail it, like our favorite One UI, but of course other skins don't offer the customization and features that we'd like to have. This is where we can take matters into our own hands and try out third-party Android launchers. So without any further ado, here are some of the best Android launchers you can install on your phone to suit your needs. The launchers mentioned in this list are not arranged in any particular order. And if you're interested in checking them out, links will be available in the description down below. Let's start with Niagara Launcher. If you're the minimalist type and you want easy access to your favorite apps, then this launcher fits right for you. It has a row type layout that reminds us of Windows Phone OS, yet has a cleaner approach. It's one of the fastest launchers out there with its very minimalist design, small size at only 3 MB, and it runs smoothly on older versions of Android. And to add to that, it doesn't have any bloatware or ads. One thing I find weird though in Niagara Launcher, there's an option in the settings where you can choose between light and dark themes. Pretty cool, but it only takes effect in the settings app alone. And since the focus of this launcher is all about minimalism and a clean user interface, there's not much customization available. Second on this list is Rootless Launcher. This one gives you that stock, vanilla, Android experience that you would find in Google Pixel phones or phones enrolled in the Android One program. Since Google's own Google Now Launcher is no longer available on the Play Store, this is one of the best alternatives you can find. Just don't expect it to be perfectly accurate and as customizable. Now, if you're into customizing your phone all the way from the color of the app folders to even the little animations, then I recommend the famous Nova Launcher. As far as customization goes, this launcher offers a lot. There's an option for customizing your dock, notification badges, app drawer animations. And if you're really serious about styling up your phone and don't mind spending an extra 222 pesos, then you can check out the Prime version of Nova Launcher for more added functionality like adding gestures to view multitasking and such. Next up, it's Go Launcher, which offers a similar amount of customization as Nova Launcher, but it does have some of its own bundled apps like Go SMS Pro, where you can add a custom theme to your messaging app, Go Keyboard Pro, where you can customize your keyboard, kinda like SwiftKey, but the downside of this launcher is that yes, it does include bloatware and ads. But of course, there's an option to remove them if you buy the full version for 229 pesos. And lastly, if you're into making your device run buttery smooth, EV Launcher is the right one to pick. It has basic customization like changing the size of your app icons, notification count, gestures, and how the app drawer behaves. It doesn't have all the bloatware you'd get with Go Launcher, but it doesn't offer a ton of customization either. Alright, so that's it for this video, guys. What do you think about custom Android launchers? Which ones do you use? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.